Nathan Nam, Professor of Saxophone at Stephen F. Austin State University. I'm Kim Colo-Eveno, Professor of Clarinet at the University of North Texas. And we have a couple considerations for student sound, and that would be the amount of mouthpiece that a student takes inside the embouchure and the angle of the instrument to the body when a student is playing. And typically, I don't know about you, but it seems to me that um, if students have an improper amount of mouthpiece in the mouth, it's usually they don't have enough mouthpiece inside right. the mouth, right? right. You, okay. So there's a really great way to help them understand and, and develop the habit of having enough mouthpiece. And that is to just take the sheet of paper first and put that between the reed, and then take a pencil and just mark on the reed where that place is. And that's, a, first of all, a nice visual cue for students. So then remove the paper and put the thumb, have the student put their thumb right below where that line is. And that line on the reed, that's the part that's gonna wanna be against their lower lip. So what we're gonna do is insert the reed and have that against our lower lip, and then have our teeth on the top of the mouthpiece and freeze the teeth in place and mark that place where the top teeth are. And then we're gonna take a half of a mouthpiece patch and put that on top so that it's a tangible reminder for students every time they put the mouthpiece inside their mouth that that's the place where their teeth need to be. So I'll show you how that goes. So here we have the line, put my thumb there, insert, freeze the teeth there, mark that place with my finger, take the half mouthpiece patch and put it on. And you might need to have your student adjust it just a little bit, but that gives you the basic idea. And then that way, every time I put my mouthpiece in my mouth, I'll take the appropriate amount of mouthpiece in. Right, right. And so a couple of considerations to have when doing this. Um, one is that the fulcrum point will be different for different size of mouthpieces. So soprano sax or B-flat clarinet is going to have a much different uh, fulcrum point than baritone saxophone or bass clarinet. The larger the mouthpiece, Traditionally, the further back the fulcrum point, and thus the more mouthpiece you'll need to take in. So it's a good idea to use the paper right. to refine the best fulcrum point for right. every mouthpiece. And in fact, even for B flat or clarinet or saxophone, the fulcrum might be different from mouthpiece to mouthpiece. That's true. Mm -hmm. Right.